Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Philadelphia water ice. This is the unicorn, which is blueberry, vanilla, and cotton candy swirl. And mine is the red, white, and blue, which is cherry, vanilla, and blueberry swirl. These were $1.25 at Dollar Tree, and they, I think because they're special flavors, they weren't in the back in the freezer department, they were up front. So like when you're gonna get in the checkout, they have a freezer there and that's where they were up front. So I'm glad I, I peeked in there. We have actually done a review before on Philadelphia water ice. I'm thinking it was, I wanna say cherry and lemonade or something like that. It was good. It was very good. And so it's like, um, I want to, it's worth a dollar twenty-five to try these flavors. Fat-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, the original Philadelphia water ice. Dairy-free, premium Italian ice. This is a 14-ounce container, but I won't complain about it not being um, a full pint because I only paid a dollar twenty-five for it, you know? Uh, it's not like one of those ice creams you pay eight bucks for and they don't give you the whole pint, so I'm not gonna complain about this one. Um, it has two and a half servings in the container, two-thirds cup, 129 grams, it's 150 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 395 calories. And they only charge you a buck 25 and they seal it. They seal it. Isn't that awesome of them that they, they seal the container? A lot of these, you pay a lot of money for them. Big name ice creams. And they and, refuse to. And they refuse to seal it. So I think that the, this is awesome. I have had this laying out, I'll just tell you, for probably 20 minutes. No, if not 30. If not 30. Probably, you're probably closer to 30. Mm -hmm. Because these are literally ice. So it's going to be a, as hard like as... Like if you were to freeze a slushie or something. Yes. <laughs> so I wanted us to be able to dig into this. See, this is what it looks like before I dig into it. And we'll see. Still, still chunky, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So this one is. So I don't know if you can. Uh, can you hold that up? Blueberry, vanilla, and cotton candy. Yeah, cotton candy. That's what got me excited. It's like, oh, cotton, cotton candy. I need that in my life. Cotton candy. I gotta keep it from focusing on everything else. There it goes. So I'm gonna get. You said it was blue raspberry or blueberry? Blueberry. Blueberry. Mm. Definitely blueberry. I got cotton candy. I've blueberry. got cotton candy. Yeah. I did too. I still taste it. It's um. This is not quite like a slushy though. This is more creamy. You would think this is almost like snow cream you make in the winter, with the uh, with snow from the outside and the vanilla. Mm -hmm. This almost tastes like that kind of texture. This is I'm surprised it doesn't have dairy in it. But you know what? This is that's the texture of it. But I did let it sit out for half an hour. Yeah, it could probably have I, I personally would leave it out that long if I was eating it. If we're reviewing it we have to. But if you're just eating it, I wouldn't leave it out that long because you want to be able to kind of scrape off. Well you want it to last a while. Yeah, that's true. This is kind of watery. I would still let it lay out for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, I really like it. Don't you get like a creaminess it. from it? That's yes. almost like it's, uh, like I said, it's almost like it has a like, creamy dairy in it, but it doesn't. And you can still scrape it. Mm -hmm. I love the vanilla. Mm. I love the cotton candy. Not, I'm not crazy about the blueberry, but I don't mind the blueberry. I like it all. I like all of it. You really taste, um, I, I'm getting a lot of that vanilla now, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm really assuming good. is going to be the same vanilla that we're going to get in the next mm -hmm. one. And that's delicious. I remember when I posted a picture of these on Instagram when I found them, somebody commented on that. You know, people, people I've learned on Instagram, they comment and they've never tried it before in their life and they judging. just, they judge it and they've never had it. And it's just hilarious because I think you have no idea what you're talking about. But anyway, um, they said something like, well, what do you expect to get from, it's a dollar can't be 20. premium. Can't be good, yeah, it can't be good, it's a dollar 25. Guess what, wrong, wrong. Uh, because that is I would good. Eat that anyway. Absolutely. And for 400 calories? Delicious, yeah. yes, that is a great, great It doesn't feel like you're eating just 395 calories. Mm -mm. No, that's delicious. 
Uh, so this is good texture too. Red, white, and blue, cherry, vanilla, and blueberry swirl. 150 calories for two thirds cup, or 3.95 for the container. I know what that texture reminds me of now. Okay. When we were in Hawaii, we got that shave ice with the um, sweet condensed milk in it. That's what that texture reminds you. So if you've ever had a shave ice with uh, sweet condensed milk in it, that's what that, that texture reminds you. Um, I love that, the shave ice, uh, that shave ice. That's so pretty. And it's the perfect red, white, and blue. Yeah, they did a good job. Oh, wow. Where it's been sitting out, it's, got, it's all wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm mm. assuming the blue's gonna be the same. The cherry's really good. I took a bite of the cherry first. Blue's good. Mm -hmm. I actually think I like that blue better mixed with that than I did the other one. I'm all about getting to, to scrape it and it lasts longer. Cause that cherry is good. But I do like the melty mixes. Mm-hmm. I know. You mix that cherry with the vanilla, it's really like over the top good. That is so nice. It is good. I like that more than a bomb pop. Oh yeah. The, the flavors you know are sweeter. The, that vanilla, they were so smart to put that vanilla in there because it adds, it, it, that's what's giving it that creamy, mm -hmm. that very sweet but creamy flight. It's a flavor thing. Mm -hmm. um, and the texture is wonderful too. It's not just, uh, it's not just like slushy because I, I said slushy at first and I shouldn't have because it's not the same thing. A slushy is literally just little chunks of ice mm -hmm. in a liquid. This is so not that. This is like creamy ice pieces it's it's and like i said it doesn't have dairy i looked it, it doesn't have anything mentioning and when it melts what i'm what you see me eating like i haven't like i'm starved to death it's like syrup mm -hmm. it's a sweet a sweet syrup you know how you can buy the bottles we've reviewed them in the past the jelly belly yeah. bottles of flavoring that's what it melts into mm -hmm. is that flavoring in there and it's it's mainly cherry once it melts for me at least it's delicious i like very both much. of these i'm very impressed with them yes and i'm thinking we said the same thing last time we reviewed mm, that it was that good and that it's so low calorie for that whole container like i would rather eat this a lot of you are going to hate me for saying this I would rather eat a thing of this than Halo Top. Oh, or the Enlightened or anything. Enlightened, of any of those. I would rather eat this because this, especially with the Halo Top now where they've changed the texture and it's all soft. If you want something for the, about the same calories that you can scrape at that's going to last you, literally it's going to take you 40 minutes to eat that if you take it straight out of the freezer. This is what you want to get. Yeah. This is where you're going to get... You if people like me want a a lot and they want it to last a long time. You want to be eating on it for not a lot of calories. This is what you want. Uh, you'll be impressed. You know it doesn't say it's vegan or or anything like that. It says fat free. Yeah, it doesn't say anything like that. But I don't see any if if the ingredient list is complete. I don't see anything dairy or. Uh, animal products on there right so i'm just thinking you know you also got all these oat milks and and all this stuff mm -hmm. that people eat because they're trying to do uh, dairy free and all that stuff these would be good to replace i would eat these over oat milks and stuff too yeah if you are vegan dairy free if you could go in your dollar tree and look yeah look see if, at the see container if they're, see if they're vegan or vegetarian i put stuff. a picture at the very end of the video you could pause the video and see does this sound like something yeah. that you could have? Because, I mean, you know what you're looking for. Yeah. I don't know what ingredient you would be looking for. I have right. no clue because I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. So, right. Yeah. But I truly think that uh, this is a lot for a, a, for a little, a little amount of calories. Yeah. And this, like I said, if you take it straight out of the freezer, it's going, you're going to have to scrape at it. And work out. it's going to, yeah, it's going to take you a long time yeah. to eat that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go 
buy more. Uh-huh. Yeah, while they still have it. Because <laughs> I don't know how long they'll have it. But you know what? I think they always, every time we've gone in, they've had the cherry and the lemon. And, uh, but yeah, these, these are different. I wish they had these out all the time. These flavors right here. Yeah, they're good. Because these are the ones that, that you would want to eat all the time. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. You'll have to let us know if, if you were able to snag some for yourself. And thanks for watching.